Welcome to the Pallet Deck and Blog. Wait up, ain't got no time for that. I've stayed up, I was hoping that you would change your ways. What is up, beautiful people? TJ here with another episode. Today, we're going to be going over to the store. Uh, we're going to be going to the pallet store, and we are going to be looking at what we sold over the last few days or weeks. I don't know if it's days or weeks. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be filmed over a couple of days. I took uh, a day off yesterday. Today is Sunday, uh, the day that this video is coming out, and... Uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm tired, <laughs> but I, de I definitely want to make this video, this vlog for you all. So I just got a few clips, paste them together, and we'll see what we come up with. So let's jump into it. Uh, I didn't grab my camera, but I woke up this morning. I said I was going to get uh, get going, get moving. I want I had so much stuff to do today. It's Friday morning. That's my first off day. Um, but it is a beautiful, gorgeous day outside today. I mean, sunny and like 70 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna try to get my work stuff done kind of early. I've got to go over to the pallet store. I'm wearing my The Family Flips uh, Live Your Dreams shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the pallet store just to see if they got anything. They may not have anything. And then, um, then I gotta get over to the store. I gotta get the store cleaned up, organized, because we're opening the store up uh, on Sunday. I'm gonna be taking kind of a day off tomorrow. I've got some, um, we're just gonna go and do like a day trip out of town. So I'm gonna try to get some stuff filmed today, upload it today, and then um, and get prepared for the live stream on Tuesday. So y'all may see me pop up live like randomly out of nowhere. And I'm just testing out the, the equipment. So if y'all jump on, then great. We can maybe talk a little bit while I'm, while I'm on there. I just wanna make sure everything works before we do you know, the scheduled live stream. Um, also, you know, I'm supposed to be doing this like 30 day challenge where I, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. And I've not been able to do it because I'm not a morning person. Um, most of the time on the weekends, I just kind of lounge around to, you know, late, and then I get up late, and then I'm, I'm moving around late, and then you end up staying late, staying up later at night because you didn't get up in the morning, and you know, just laying there in the bed, it's not really doing anything for your, uh, it's not really doing anything for you, for your, for your body. You know, you feel like you're resting, but really, you're just, you know, you're just laying there. You're not, you know, you're not being productive. Um, so. I'm going to try to challenge myself. I want to get up every morning at 4.30, regardless if I'm going to work or if I'm not going to work, um, because I feel like that morning time, I can get so many things done. And I'm going to try to document that. Uh, I'm not going to document that on this channel. It's going to be on my other channel. Uh, but I'm just going to try to get up at 4.30 every morning and see how you know much more productive uh, I can be. So anyway, let's get out to the pallet store. If I, I'm just going to pop in. If I can find something great, if I can't, that's, that's fine too. Uh, we've got some stuff that's already coming in the mail, so I don't necessarily have to get one, but if they got one down here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Um, and uh, I got my coffee, and it's beautiful. I wish y'all could see. Hold on, let me see if y'all can see this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just the, riding past the lake with that sun shining. It's a beautiful day. Um, so anyway, I'll catch y'all here in just a minute. <laughs> So nothing today at the pallet store, which is fine because I don't really have a lot of time to uh, <laughs> to unpack a pallet today anyway. Uh, but it would have been good if we got something good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking care of some other stuff that I gotta do. Mostly everything that I said I was going to do done today. I was supposed to film when I came in here today, but I just came in and just kind of got to it and, and kind of got everything uh, squared away. So with that being said, I'm going to come back probably tomorrow and show everything between those two bulk uh, boxes that we that I lost the footage on. If you wasn't a part of the live video we did the other day, um, you would have known that <laughs> I actually lost the footage from two of the three bulk uh, boxes that we got. But um, I'm just going to have to figure out a creative way to kind of show you all still what we got. Um, I'm just going to combine both of those two pallets into one uh, kind of unboxing. And then the stuff that we've sold, we've sold quite a bit of the stuff. Um, 
I'll just put it up on the screen to show you what we sold it for, how much you paid for it and what we sold it for. So I think it'd be a pretty interesting video, um, just a little bit different. All right, so let me show you what we got going on. Okay, so fully stocked shelves. Um, we plan on opening the store on Sunday. I'm gonna be gone. Uh, I'm taking the day off tomorrow, so I won't be over here at the store, but we do have quite a bit of stuff. This is most of the stuff um, from those bulk boxes getting kind of a preview we'll go over everything uh whenever i did get the store pretty much cleaned up pretty good look at that it's clean in here um but I, what i'm trying to do is we still got our dollar uh stuff back there i've got those vans pretty filled up I, I put a bunch of stuff um in there from a couple of pallets and um, we sold quite a bit of the bargain hour um stuff i'm probably going to at the end of this video show you some of our sales that we've had in the last couple of weeks um, from the bargain hour box and some of the other boxes that we've gotten uh, recently. But yeah, we sold a lot of the bargain hour stuff and as well as the 88 lots. All right, so this is the junk room back here. It ain't too bad right now. Um, I actually cleaned uh, quite a bit of it up. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna convert, well, it's not gonna convert it. <laughs> I'm just gonna use it for what I had originally planned it for. It's kind of like a kitchen area, but we don't use it for a kitchen area. What I wanna do is put all of the stuff that's unlisted back here. And then that way, when I create my burn down curve of what we need to have listed, like all our unlisted stuff, it'll be back here. And then we can just come in here and grab, you know, 10, 15 items and kind of work on that as we're, um, you know, in the store and stuff. So this is it um these flip-flops are going to stay here for another two or so weeks um whatever we don't sell uh, we'll just put over in the storage unit and then these bins will be used for something else until next year we'll just hold on to them uh, until next year i'm going to reorganize this once i take those flip-flops and stuff down i'm probably going to move some of this stuff over here and uh, we're probably going to have a dollar sale pretty soon so also all of this stuff is going over to the storage unit you see some of these rc cars we're going to get those listed eventually um, it's not really a priority right now because even if uh, even if we sell them for parts, they probably won't sell until closer to Christmas time anyway. So we're going to have those listed um, just for parts only. And then we've got some some of the Target stuff, uh, a couple of bulk items that we're not going to sell in the store because they're too expensive. And I believe they're going to sell for more online. Those two confidence, those are pretty expensive. Um, and then I've got some uh, box of flip-flops. We just had so many of those flip-flops. Uh, and then a TV back there. So we're going to take all this stuff over to the storage unit. Is it just me or are inside storage units like super scary? Hello? So after a long weekend of work, I decided to take a moment and walk. While our minds sometimes think that we need to consistently work, we have to pay attention to our mind, body, and soul. All right, so the first thing that we sold uh, was that Clarity Aloft Classic headset um, that we got on our second bargain hour box. Uh, we sold that for $569.99 on Amazon. Sold like two days after we listed it, so it sold pretty quickly. So that was double our money on that box, just in that one item. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, super excited when we got that sale. Uh, we also sold this iHome uh, 10 by 13 reflective mirror. It's got like a Bluetooth speaker on it. It's got like lights around it. Um, so this is one of the items that was on that bulk palette that y'all didn't see. So probably y'all see this item again whenever I go to the store and show y'all what we got uh, on that palette. But we sold that for $149.99. That sold fairly quickly as well. So the next thing we got was the Trans by Jansport 18 inch Dakota backpack. This is the last one that we actually had. Um, but we got this on the uh, Wholesale Ninja Target Case Pack Palette. I think we had like nine or 10 of these, maybe 12 of them, I don't know. This was our last one that we sold. So we sold it for $42.99. Wait till we get over to the eBay and you'll see like the, the vast price difference uh, between eBay and Amazon. But we sold it for $42.99. Um, and we sold, uh, that was the last one. So we sold all of those. This was a kettle. Um, this was actually from a bulk palette we got 
ages ago. Um, it was actually in a used um, condition and we didn't really know how it was gonna sell because they, it didn't have the buy box or anything like that, but we did sell it, used condition, on Amazon for $49.99. Pretty good right there. All right, so now we're going over to our eBay sales. Um, this was a Wham Suda Extra Wide Fabric Shower Curtain. We sold it for $15 with $7.99 shipping. Uh, then we had these wireless earbuds, uh, F-I-I-L wireless earbuds. We uh, took an offer, we had them listed for $57.99 uh, with free shipping, but we took off for $37, $35.77. And um, this was from the bargain hour box. I believe it's from the first bargain hour box that we had. And then we sold this smartwatch. This is a generic brand smartwatch, sold it for $45. Um, like I said, when you get these items, sometimes you you know, you know don't recognize the brand. That doesn't mean people won't buy them, you just have to list them. So this one right here, we listed, we took a picture of it. Um, we listed it and, um, actually I didn't take that picture. I stole that picture. This is a picture that was stolen, but it is the actual same one. And uh, it's just Smartwatch 2020. I mean, it, it doesn't have a brand on it. We sold $45, took off for, Ford, uh, for $45. And then the next one is a name brand, it's Garmin or Jarmin, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, but it was, uh, we took an offer for it for 21, 20. Um, and then we had these Beats by Dre, the Pro. We actually took an offer for these for 122, 19. We probably could have held out and got the full amount for them. But you know, at that point in the stage, this was the same box, bargain hour box that we got those headphones that we sold for $600, um, over there. So I wasn't too worried about taking an offer on this one. So we sold that for 122.19. And then we had this Hometics uh, UV Clean Phone Sterilizer. We sold for $15. It was out of the package. It was, looks just like this on the picture. Now, I will say, if you do get one of these phone sanitizers, these, these are considered uh, medical equipment. So I probably would not list another one of these because they will flag your account if you sell medical equipment. Um, so just a thought. Uh, and then we sold this Fisher Price Bubble Lawnmower. Um, so we sold it. We took off for $35.34 with $4.99 $4 shipping. I got a little story about this. So it actually was supposed to be shipped to Puerto Rico. I didn't realize that. I thought I had Puerto Rico excluded um, in our listing, but I didn't. The shipping on this thing was like $65 or something crazy like that. So I had to cancel this order. I emailed them uh, or messaged them and told them, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't realize uh, this was going to Puerto Rico. We can't ship this to Puerto Rico. Uh, can we cancel this order? And we did. So no damage to our account. And you know, I had, you have to communicate with the buyers if you want to cancel order or something like that. So they won't ding your account. All right. So look at this. You remember the same Jansport backpack that we sold on Amazon for $42, $15 and 90 cent with seven ninety nine shipping. So, I mean, almost half of what we sold on Amazon. It'd be like that sometime. We had them listed in both places. Probably in hindsight, I would just put them all on Amazon and not had them on eBay. But you know, we we sold them. We actually still made a profit on that because we was very low um, per item on that pallet. All right, this was a Hampton Bay uh, six chandelier chrome and clear acrylic acrylic chandelier. We sold it for forty eight dollars and fifty nine cent. Open box. This was from the War on Retail Re War on Retail pallet um, that we got. A while ago that I didn't think was a really good buy. But anyway, we sold that. That was the other chandelier. We had two on that palette. We sold both of those. And then this was the 2020 Bluetooth Music Warm Beanie Hat Wireless. It's just a beanie wireless thing. I, I think I highlight this on the 88 Lots video. Uh, we sold it for eight bucks with free shipping. Um, and then we sold this Impal Iron Virtual uh, RGB USB Gaming Head Set. We took off for $40.64 uh, with free shipping. This was also from the Bargain Hour uh, lot. Last but not least, we sold the Revlon Oval One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Uh, we took off for that for $26.50 uh, with $2.99 shipping. We actually had two of these, and this was from the bulk palette that you uh, did not see. So we actually sold both of these. So one of them on eBay and one of them on Facebook Marketplace. We had a bunch of stuff we sold on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not going to show you all that stuff, but it was, um, I'm going to say between $350 to $450 worth of sales uh, on Facebook Marketplace. I had another kind of error on Facebook Marketplace. So now, you know, you can ship stuff on Facebook Marketplace. We listed, um, we have a, like a nursery chair and it's like 200 and something dollars. Um, somebody bought it. 
I didn't realize that the shipping was going to be so expensive, but the shipping was like $100 to ship the thing. So I had to message them and tell them, hey, I'm sorry, um, we can't ship this out to you unless you want to pay the additional amount for the shipping. Uh, and the lady, she was super nice. She was like, oh, no, it's no big deal. And we, I just canceled that order. So um, if you're shipping larger items, just make sure you understand what your shipping cost is going to be. I know it's hard to do because you don't know where it's going to be shipped to. Um, but what I would do is I would go ahead and just get a, a estimate based on like the furthest point. So our furthest point is gonna be California. I will see what the shipping is for California. Now we kind of base my shipping uh, based on that because if it can be shipped to California, it probably will be shipped to California. All right, so that is gonna be it for today, guys. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we release new videos and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.